If you look on Jestel.gg, you're going to be able to see all of the champions that could potentially solo the Nether Spider. So shout out to Jestel. Staltus is not the only one. Please check out Jestel's website, guys. It is amazing for searching up raid champions and everything they can do. What's going on YouTube? Age Dub here and I am back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Now, in this video, we are going to be using Staltus Dragon Bane to solo the Nether Spider. And my god, is he an amazing champion for this? I could not wait to put out this content for you guys. Um, his kit is literally perfect for this boss. If you do not know his kit, let's go over it really quickly. On the A1, he has an attack one enemy two times. If the target is under any debuff, each hit decreases the target's turn meter by 10%. Now, this is not ideal for what we want to achieve with the solo build because we want him to not be decreasing the turn meter of the boss. Um, we want the boss to be taking as many turns as possible. So kind of wish he didn't have that decreased turn meter, but it's fine. I'll take the two hits because every time he hits, he's going to have a chance to place a poison on the boss. Now, his A2 is an AoE stun. He attacks twice and has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff. You can book it up to 75%. And his A3, obviously his nuke, places a 60% increased def defense buff on himself for three turns. Then he attacks all enemies. Has a 75% chance of placing a 25% decreased crit damage debuff for two turns on enemies whose attack is higher than their defense. Also has a 75% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns on enemies whose attack is equal to or lower than their defense, right? And that is on a four-turn cooldown booked. His passive, whenever an enemy attempts to place a weakened debuff, a decreased defense debuff, or a poison debuff on this champion, reflects them back onto the attacker. Damage increases by 5% for each debuff on the target, and he has a 30% defense aura um, which is good for all battles amazing i love to see it on legendary champions when they have auras that allow them to be used in all battles i don't really like the niche auras that are specific to specific places in the game they can be yeah they're just they're just kind of mess sometimes you know um but these are the stats that i have on him he's currently in a region immortal build and it's a kind of overpowered build for stage 20, but um, I had to, I tried to, I tried to dumb it down the most that I could, honestly, or just tried to minimize the stats as as much as I could. But it's, it's kind of tough because a lot of my gear is is kind of for the higher levels. Um, but he has 76k HP, which he does not need for this. 3.9k defense, which he does not need for this. 129 speed was key. I tried to get as little speed as possible, but it was tough because most of my gear has speed on it. So we got about 30 speed from the artifacts. Um, crit rate, crit damage, doesn't matter much. I should crit cap him for the purpose of clearing the wave faster um, because on those waves, you do have some revivers and some... Um, some uh, do, 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 unkillable champions as well. 120 resist, also very key. You want to have him as low resist as possible. This was tough because I do have a max great haul now. Um, so we only got 10 from the masteries, and I tried to, I got none from gear at the moment. And yeah, so we got 80 from the great haul and just 10 from the masteries. Did not want to spend to change his masteries for this. And 321 accuracy, you don't necessarily need that much because these stats for the boss, the boss is running at 200 speed. So we want to be going 
um, slower than the boss. The boss has 150 resists, so technically you only need 200, uh, 250 at the most accuracy if you want to be reflecting these poisons. And the boss only has 150 accuracy, so if you have more than 150 resist, he is not going to be reflecting as many poisons as he could if you had under that amount. If he does resist the poisons, so as you see in his kit, right, he's going to reflect them. If he resists this, he's not going to reflect it. I tested it already, and I had to kind of, you know, minimize the resist stats as much as I could um, because I didn't, I didn't see him reflecting them when I had him in his normal build. Um, same for the smaller spiders, the, the spiderlings. They also have 150 accuracy, 150 resist, and they move at 75 speed. Obviously, we can't get him lower than 75 speed because his base speed is 99. Um, and maybe I'll even test this with lower speed once I get some silver. But this was just a build that I put together uh, to show to to just showcase this. So let's take a look at a run really quickly. So he's going to come in here almost cleared. Uh, we did have a weak hit on the left side. Another weak hit there. He's reviving, but that's fine. We're going to get to the boss pretty quickly. And instantly, the boss is putting up poisons on himself. The small spiderlings are putting up poisons on themselves. We got a brimstone there. But to be honest, brimstone doesn't make a huge difference in this comp because the boss is not going to be using his A2 much. I think brimstone may only proc once or twice for us. The boss is only going to use his A2 once the little spiderlings have taken three turns. So after the little spiderlings take three turns and they lose their counterattack, then the boss will use his A2. But like to be able to time that with brimstone, if you don't have like a six star brimstone is, um, is, is yeah, it's almost impossible um, or just very unlikely to do, but we don't need it, you know. Poisons are killing the boss right now. Staltus is, he has great heals. Obviously, he has a lot of HP. He has a lot of defense. Not necessarily needed for this stage. All right, we got another Brimstone proc there. All right, and then one of the Spiderlings has lost counterattack. Two of them have lost. They're all about to lose their counterattack, so the boss is going to use the A2 there. But... I think Brimstone had already fallen off, so didn't matter. All right, we got another one. He's about to use A2. And then we see a Brimstone proc finally come through. So, yeah, don't really need, you don't need Brimstone. It's not going to make your runs faster um, by far. We're just getting up a lot of poisons, and the boss is pretty much killing himself from poison damage. Now, this is going to be able to scale up very easily, and this is probably one of the easiest solo builds uh, to do uh, by far because you don't have to build resist at all on him. You don't really have to build speed on him. All you need to build is sustain and accuracy. So the only thing, the only thing that you are going to need is accuracy hp percentage and defense percentage literally you don't need anything else now for the higher the higher stages where the boss is moving a bit faster you're going to want to scale the speed up and i'm going to put out videos on that as well when we scale the speed up to test against the higher stages we're only at stage 20 now but I guarantee you this is going to work. It is going to be very easy to do as well because we don't have to build him with insane accuracy and resist. So until next time, guys, I hope this helps. If you have Staltus and, you know, you want to play around with this, you know, it's easier to just throw a champ in and let them 
do a run than to, you know, have your team go in. Unless you're, like, trying to do it fast or you're going for the leaderboard, then you obviously you're going to have a team in that can do it much faster. But, yeah, hope this video helps. It was a bit fun to do. Only reason why I did it. I know people aren't really struggling with uh, the nether spider. It's, it's not that difficult. We've had this rotation for some time now. So until next time, be good and be well.